Hi, want to show you something pretty cool. So I have here a Sony PlayStation 3 remote because my PlayStation was broken. So I thought I might use it for projects like Arduino or other stuff. And this was not easy. So eventually I have this board, which is an Arduino Uno with USB shield. And I have to add to this shield a Bluetooth receiver. So I have this Bluetooth receiver. I will now stick it in and show you how it works. I have to admit it was not easy to get it all to work. And I will explain in a minute why. So first I will show how it is working. So as you can see, uh, it is written PS Bluetooth library started. Now I will press the remote and then I have a full control. Each button that I'm pressing, as you can see, it is writing different thing on the screen. For example, select button, start button. I have the triangle which also uh, activate the vibration, the square, the X, uh, the circle, and also uh, the right stick and the left stick. Now I will explain why this was not easy. First, in order to get it work, you need to have a Bluetooth receiver. But the problem is that most of the Bluetooth receiver do not work and you have to search for ones that work. Also the code inside uh, the net on the net uh, was not uh, easy to find something that work. Also I had another problem with the first shield that I bought that took me more than two weeks to understand that I have a problem in the shield and I will show the problem if you have the same so you will not waste so so much time on this okay so just a second uh, let's see if it is connecting no this is not the correct port oh no this is the correct port so this is another shield and I want to show you what is happening in this one it is written oscillator did not start. I will zoom a little so you will see the problem. Okay, so one of my board that I bought, it is written oscillator did not start. Oscillator did not start. <laughs> it took me two weeks to uh, convince myself that everything that I'm doing is fully okay. And the problem is the board and not me. Okay, another problem is that you have all the dongles. I will show you now, I will try to zoom. So there are many USB dongles and most of them do not work. I search on, a, on other videos and all this stuff did not work for me. And the and you it makes you crazy because you start another one and another one and another one and it doesn't work. The one that is working it is written on it CSR4. I will put a link with description where to buy it. And uh, other thing, there are many uh, version of code on the net, and also some of them are not working. And I was not sure whether I need to do some first MAC address binding between uh, the remote and the board. Eventually, I did not have to do nothing than finding the right code and finding the correct USB uh, dongle. That's all. You don't have to do anything else. At least in my case it worked uh, pretty easily after I, I understood 
that the problem is not me and this is the shield that I got the USB shield the first one that I bought from Alice on eBay did not work so probably some of them from time to time are not working I try to go over all the soldering and uh, also check the crystal that it is working and uh, did the fully reverse engineer and could not find probably the uh, control chip the USB controller is dead so this is the problem and I will put later a link with the description hopefully I want to use this in order to control cars it is more sexy than using wired control uh, I will show what do I mean I have this card that I've already did with a wired wired uh, PlayStation remote but I want to make it with wireless which is much more sexy so after all this I will put a link with description and also share my fully code after it is done maybe the, the first version that I am using and then the other one that I will use to the full project and that's all for now thank you and bye